You've also been <laughs> hearing about the probiotics a lot lately. Uh, there's a good type, it's a good type of bacteria that can help you with digestion, also can be boost your immune system. And uh, internist and uh, nutrition specialist, Dr. Melina Jampolos is back with us. And we're talking about this and the importance of it, what exactly it is, what are uh, probiotics? Well, that's a great question. People are really surprised to know that we have trillions of bacteria in our di di digestive tract. We actually have 10 times as many bacteria as we do human cells. So they're a really important part of our health. And there's good ones, there's bad ones, and there's more neutral ones. The good ones are called probiotics. And they're really essential, not only for digestive health, but also 70% of your immune system is in your gut. So they're very important for the proper functioning of your immune system too. And our modern lifestyle with poor diets and stress mm -hmm. and a lot of antibiotic use, unfortunately, really negatively affects the bacteria. Bacteria. So I commonly recommend a probiotic supplement to my patients to help them restore that healthy balance of good bacteria. Well, let's talk about the benefits of probiotics and then exactly how they work in our system. Sure. Well, they work in a lot of different ways, and we don't know everything yet. It's really an emerging area of research, but they can help with digestion. For example, they can help you digest milk products. They can actually help produce vitamins in the body, and they're very important for feeding the cells of the colon. So if you think about it, you really want healthy colon cells not only for digestion but also as a defense mechanism they're a barrier just like our skin is a barrier they're an internal barrier so we don't want some of the toxic byproducts of food to go into our system so they're really important and then when it comes to diseases they can help with antibiotic associated diarrhea they can help with irritable bowel with vaginal problems <laughs> they can help and they can also help with things there's some research on eczema and even decreasing the incidence of colds and obesity. There's some emerging research showing that the balance of good to bad bacteria in our digestive tract can actually influence your weight too. So it's, you know, a whole new exciting area. Well, why can't we, because your body really heals itself. You have all these billions of little cells inside of you. Why can't your body balance itself on its own? Why do we need supplements in order to, uh, to make our bodies function properly? Well, that's a great question. I think the biggest thing is we live in a more toxic world. So maybe, you know, in the old days, we actually consumed more naturally probiotic rich foods. So right. fermented foods, those were more a part of our regular diet and the body regulated itself. I think when you introduce a lot of, you know, think about how many things we're exposed to. I read somewhere that we're exposed to like 150 chemicals on a daily basis. Believe that it. with a poor wow. diet and we're using a lot more. I know my son was on antibiotics half a dozen times last year for ear infections. Mm -hmm. Every time, you know, I actually give him probiotics every single time right afterwards to make sure that I'm immediately restoring well, that natural balance. About, we yeah. hear about that. My, my youngest loves yo yogurt. Yeah. So is he getting enough with that? That's a great question and that's a really important thing that we need to clarify is that first of all regular yogurt if it says live and active cultures it does have some probiotics but the reality is to get a clinically relevant dose something that's actually going to do your body good you would need to eat dozens of containers of yogurt a day which is probably a little yeah. bit more <laughs> most of us can eat so that's where a high quality supplement in addition to bringing in the fermented foods and things like that can really be beneficial what are fermented foods and why are they so good for us well because they're a source of naturally occurring so they're fermented with these bacteria so the bacteria are kind of feeding themselves so things like kimchi and tempeh and a lot of these different sauerkraut even these are very important and I also have here shown it's important to have the prebiotics so the healthy foods that are rich in fiber to help feed the good bacteria, no matter what your source is. All right, so we want to, we're, we're talking about if we do a supplement, yeah. what's important is the culture count? Is yeah. that what, what is that? Well, that's what we talk, so you just don't have enough of these bacteria in you know regular yogurt to have a meaningful right. effect right. on the body. So you want a culture count. The high potency supplements generally contain about 15 billion probiotics. So I said we have trillions in the body, yeah. so you need to get in the billions to really influence those ratios. Ratio. Okay, so ultimate flora here, I'm reading this, and I don't know what this means, but if I'm just <laughs> taking the totals here, total uh, bifido, is that right, and lacto, 
30 billion. Right. So this is a high potency this supplement. Is, so this is really something that's going to give you a clinically relevant effect that's really going to help you, you know, not just maintaining optimal health necessarily. So we don't have to jump in. Some of these have uh, lower dosages of that count, but that's what we're really looking for. Yeah, you want, supplement. if you're really looking to get an effect or you've had antibiotics recently or you have some sort of digestive issues or mm -hmm. immune issues, you really may want to go with a higher potency supplement like this. Are there multiple strains of bacteria? Yeah, there are. And and that's the really interesting part that many people don't realize is each strain actually has a unique function. It's not just like a vitamin where, oh, vitamins do everything. A does something, C does something. It's the same with strains. So you really have to understand what you're taking it for. And again, for most people, because you're not going to do the science like I do, having a broad that has multiple strains. So this product, again, I think has quite a few strains yeah. on it. This would be something that would have, you know, you could cover all your bases essentially so that you really get the right strain for the right symptom or that you're having in your body. It talks about a delayed release. What, it, what does is that, that mean? That is important. It, it is because the stomach acid can destroy a lot of these. Now, some of them get through, but stomach acid can destroy a significant amount of them. So you want as many to make it down to the lower parts of your intestines where they're actually doing the work. So having something that is released after it passes through the stomach can be beneficial, again, in delivering that clinically appropriate dose. About the about the potency of it, so how do you know that it's potent enough because there's an expiration date on right. everything? So when is the best time to be taking these? Before, obviously before it expires, yeah. right? Yeah, the, you, you, what you really want to understand is you want it to be potent through the end of the date, not just, I don't want to know how many live cells were made when they bottled it. I want to know that I'm I'm getting all those live healthy probiotics at the end, close to the date. So, you know, things like bat packaging or heat or time can sure. decrease the live count. So you really want to know what the live count is at, at by the expiration date to really, again, the point is if you're going to take a supplement, you want it to do its job. You want the most yeah. effective possible. So these are just the things that we look for in, you know, giving you the best possible product to keep you healthy. Well, healthy gut, healthy, healthy. Healthy, healthy everything. Well, healthy everything. Well, everything. Those, your gut those really tacos healthy. were good, but I could Yeah, I know. I'm just like burping them off. It's like, wow. Something. More information on Dr. Melina, you can go to drmelina.com.